If the Supreme Court moves forward with overturning Roe v. Wade, it will send shockwaves through American politics and some say could have an impact on this year's midterm elections. Senator Chuck Schumer says today's Senate vote on making abortion protections federal law will show where lawmakers stand. Natalie Brand has more from Capitol Hill. The Senate this afternoon will vote on a bill to protect abortion access a little more than a week after Politico published a leaked draft majority opinion from February, which calls for overturning Roe versus Wade. Vote to protect the fundamental rights of women across the country or stand with five conservative justices ready to destroy these rights in one felled swoop. When we're talking about abortion, we're talking about the killing of human beings, innocent human beings. Democrats don't have the votes to break the filibuster. It requires 60, and we don't have 10 Republicans, even if we had every Democrat. Two moderate Republicans, Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, have proposed their own more narrow alternative bill. I am not going to be supporting it. I'm supporting the codification of Roe. Wednesday's vote comes ahead of the release of the Supreme Court's final ruling in coming weeks, but the draft opinion has led to days of demonstrations nationwide. Oh, that includes protests outside the homes of Supreme Court justices. Trying to scare federal judges into ruling a certain way is far outside the bounds of First Amendment speech or protest. CBS News polling shows a potential overturn of Roe has yet to motivate most voters, but 40% of Democrats say they would be more likely to vote in this year's midterm elections if Roe is overturned, compared to 17% of Republicans. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Capitol Hill.